Okay, hi. I'd like to talk confidence interval for population proportion by stack crunch. So here's the example. In 2008, there were 507 children in Arizona out of 32,601 who were diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, ASD find a 99% confidence interval for the proportion of all children in Arizona, Zona, Zona, diagnosed with ASD, okay? So by hand, it's a too tedious. It's a lot of work. We had experience, but by stack crunch is really easy. So let me show you how to use a stack crunch here. Okay, open the stack crunch and then go to stack here. And we're going to proportion stacks. And then we are click, we're gonna click the one sample. We are going to, to click one sample. And then we don't have data, right? So we're gonna click with this summary here. Oops, okay. Let me pause a little bit so you can follow me. All right, so stack, STAT, proportion stacks, one sample and with a summary, okay? So let me click this one. All right, so number of successes is, this is, <laughs> successes. <laughs> so it will be, let me write down, uh, we have a sample proportion, which is p hat x over n, okay? So x, which is the number of individual in the sample with a specified characteristic, and the n is the sample size, right? So we had one number, was it? We have a 507, 507, so 507, 507, okay, yeah. Okay, number of observation, which is, okay, right there, 32,601, okay. Now we're gonna click confidence interval, this one, all right. Now, uh, there was 99% confident, level of confidence, right? So we type uh, 0 0.99, okay, there you go, okay? Now we do compute, how easy, right? So, Uh, let me drag this one here. Okay. So this was, I forgot to mention the 507. And then this is a 32,601. Okay. So here is the number of successes and here is the number of observations, right? Okay, now this will be lower bound. This will be upper bound. Okay, so lower bound. And this will be upper bound. Okay, so we make this format, right? The interval, okay? So this will be point uh, let me write down four decimal places, but then it depends on your homework question. Sometimes your homework asks you two decimal places or three or four. 
So I prefer four decimal places, okay? So 0 0.0138, because we round up, okay? And upper bound will be 0 0.0173, okay? Here is the sample proportion, which is PF, okay? Now, how do we interpret this one? Okay, so let me use in the statement. Okay, we are 99% confident that the proportion for all. Hmm, Children in Arizona diagnosed with ASD between zero point zero one three eight and zero point zero one seven three. Okay. All right, I hope this helps you. I'll see you next time.